Okay, so you finally got a Rubik's Cube, and you went on YouTube to see how to solve it, and you saw some pretty confusing explanations for how to solve it. Um, today, I just want to show you how I would solve it. Now, the method I'm going to offer you is very similar to the other ones. I'm just going to try to explain it a little more clearly. No offense to those guys or girls. Um, so... There are several steps. I'm just going to show you step one in this tutorial, okay? Step one is actually pretty easy for the most part. Um, if you've watched any of the other videos, you know that what you want to do is you want to get a green cross to start. So notice how the green centerpiece is here. And this is something really important that I should mention. The centerpieces never move in relation to one another. It doesn't matter how you turn these. The green centerpiece is always going to be next to the red and across from the blue, okay? doesn't matter how you rotate them. Green and blue are always going to be opposite. Red and orange are always going to be opposite. And white and yellow are always going to be opposite. So you're looking for four different um, edge pieces. These are called edge pieces, by the way, because they're on the edge here. Um, this is the center piece. And then these are the corner pieces. Okay. So you're going to look for the four green edge pieces that are going to go here, here, and here. And we're going to make a green cross out of it. Now, not only that, um, you want to have it so that, um, so here's one of the green. You can't just have any green one in there. What you want is you want it to be green, green, orange, orange, and you want it to match whatever this color is. So like this one um, right here, the piece that should go here should be green and red, okay? So we want to find the green, red edge piece, and let's do that right now, actually. So, um, oh, okay, so it's right here. That, well, that's easy. What you want to do is get this piece up here, okay? And you don't want to mess up this one since it's already where it's supposed to be, okay? So how can we get this one up here? Well, that's simple. We can rotate it up like that, okay? Now, if we messed up this other one, we should double check that, okay? Now, this one's fine. Obviously, going like this isn't going to affect this one. Um, but now we have... The green, red, and the green, orange are in place. Now we need the green, yellow, and the green, white piece. Um, so let's look for the green, yellow, okay? Um, the green, yellow piece needs to go here. Now this is kind of awkward because the green, white piece is in there, so we need to get that one dislodged and get the green, yellow one in there. Okay, so first of all, we need to find the green, yellow piece. Okay, and that's actually pretty easy. It's right here. I swear, sometimes every time I do this, it's like buried somewhere else. Um, but okay, so the green yellow piece is right here. Now, what if we try to turn it up like this? Okay, now you've got the green yellow piece where it needs to be. It's just backwards. Okay, so I'm going to show you how to get it so that it's the right way. Okay, and the easiest way to do that is to go ahead and turn it down to the side. Okay. You can go this way or you can go this way. It doesn't really matter, okay? Your goal here is going to be to turn it to the side and then get this green to go down to the bottom, okay? So we're going to twist the green down to the bottom, okay? And now that the green's on the bottom, we're going to bring it over so that the yellow here matches the yellow here, okay? So the green's on the bottom, and this is the top center green right here. So this green's on the bottom. I'm going to bring this one over, okay? And now the question is, how do we get the green-yellow edge piece right here? Well, we need to find the green-yellow edge piece. Okay, it's right here. So how do you get this piece up here? Well, I would say there are two ways. You can either go like that, which does not help at all because that completely dislodges the center piece, or you could take this whole face right here and just turn it like that a couple times and it'll get your piece in place there, okay? Now, um, this creates somewhat of a problem for us, okay? The green-orange is still fine and we got the green-yellow. Where did the green-red go, okay? Uh, well, the green-red <laughs> got dislodged over here, okay? So what we're going to do so that our green-red doesn't get dislodged Okay, so let's go back to our original situation there. Okay, here's our green yellow. Okay, our green red's fine. Our green orange is fine. Um, 
we're gonna move this down here, okay? And then what we're gonna do is bring the green down, okay? Now, notice that when we bring the green down, it brought the green red piece down as well with it. So what we're gonna do is we're going to bring the green yellow piece over just like we did, okay? Now, before we flip it up there, why don't we take this green red piece and put it right back where it belongs, okay? And then now we can bring the green yellow piece up. And now our green orange, our green yellow, and our green red is all set. So I'll show that again. Um, the whole sequence there. Okay, so here was our situation. We had green orange, green red, and now we need the green yellow piece. We just need it flipped, right? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna we're gonna bring it we're gonna bring it over like this, and then we're gonna bring it so that the green piece is down on the bottom. Okay, then we're gonna bring the yellow over, the yellow green over right there, so that all we have to do is get it back up there. But before we do that, let's spin that um, green red up where it needs to be so that now we can spin this piece and it'll go, get up into its spot, okay? Now, um, all we need, and we don't, by the way, we don't care about the corner pieces. If they're all green, that's nice, but all we need is a green cross right now. So the only piece we have left to do is the green white edge piece. So we need to find that first. Um, okay, so it needs to go right here and I just found it, it's on this side, okay? So what we'll do is I like to kind of spin it over and then see where I'm at, okay? So the green white needs to go right here, it needs to be green white Okay, and the green white piece is right here. Now, if we spin that up, we're gonna be in that same problem that we just had. So what we're gonna have to do is, so our piece is here, we're gonna have to bring it to the side, just like we did last time, and we're gonna do the exact same thing that we did last time, okay? So we, we bring it to the side, and then we're gonna bring the green down to the bottom, and then bring, bring it over here to bring it up. And remember, again, before we bring it up, like this, what we need to do is make sure our green orange piece goes back here where it was. And then we slide that one right there, okay? So now we've got green, green, white, white, green, green, orange, orange, green, green, yellow, yellow, green, green, red, red. And you're all set. Um, and so yeah, so that's what you need. You need the green cross. Let me, there are some other specific situations that you get in where you're like, wait, what the heck do I do? Um, one that I've seen that's really common, one of my, I teach math, high school math, and I showed us, one of my sophomore students how to do this in uh, a day or two. And he memorized the whole thing. He doesn't even need paper anymore. Um, one of the things that I see that's really common is you get a green cross and you get like, maybe two of the colors lined up, and then you get these colors backwards. There's actually a really easy fix for that. Um, if you're in this situation, all you need to do, see how this is green, red, and it should be, I don't even know if you can see it on my iPhone 4. Uh, <laughs> but this one's green, red. It should be green, orange. And the green, orange one's actually on the other side. What you can do is actually bring this green piece to the bottom here, okay, and then take it over to the other side so that you've got your reds lined up and then bring it up. Okay, so now your green red's all set. Where did the green orange go? Well, it was just right here. Now we brought it to the bottom and you can just take that one over to the other side like that. Okay, or let me, let me actually rotate that piece. Okay, so we rotate it twice. Now if we come over here, the green orange piece, we need it to go right here, and it is right here. And all you have to do, as long as you have the orange lined up there and the green on the bottom, it's just as easy as turning it twice like that, and then you'll get your green cross. Um, if you guys have any additional questions, leave them in the comment section. Um, I think I've covered just about everything. The hardest thing on this step is when you get, um, when you get, a piece in place and it goofs another piece up, you know, like for instance, um, let's see if I can get a one here. So 
maybe you had, um, here, let's do this. So maybe you've got, um, your, you've got these two in place and then you want to get, um, your green orange edge in. So maybe your green orange, so these two are good and your green orange edge is right here and you really just need to flip it. So what you do is you bring it, you bring it down like this and then you bring the green to the bottom and you bring the green over but you forget to take this piece back up <laughs> right here and so you'll spin it twice and now instead of your green white piece being where it was it's all of a sudden all the way over here. So remember before you bring this green piece right here up to here you've got to take that green white piece back up there and bring that one up and then you'll be all set and then uh, we just need one more piece and we just rotate that one up. So once you get the green cross and your colors are set here that is the first step that's all you have to do for the first step okay so good luck with that one and then they get a little harder um, but you are right on your way